Hello again, Tabletop Warriors, and welcome back to The Plague Den. My name's Tony, and in this video, we're gonna go over five tactics and tips to make your Death Guard army on the battlefield right now. This channel is all about exploring the 40K universe, so if you're new here, welcome, and please consider subscribing for videos just like this one. Number one is Pox Walkers. They're a troop choice, six points a model. You can use them as an objective holder, screen, bubble wrap you can use them to attack put them with typhus get the plus five strength plus five toughness you have curse of the walking pox which is a great rule to replace them if you have more than 10 they get a plus one to hit you can use the dead walk again stratagem with cultists to make them kind of multiply they are a great all-around unit for the price and they come in the box set they can immediately make your death guard army better add them in groups of 20 groups of 40, groups of 60, whatever the case may be. Number two, Typhus. He's a little bit more expensive of an HQ, but he's great on the battlefield, especially with your pox walkers. He automatically gives them that plus one strength, plus one toughness. He has the Destroyer Hive 2D6 pistol, the Master Crafted Man Reaper. He has Nurgle's Gift. He's in Cataphraki armor, four plus invul. He's a little bit more expensive HQ, and the model is a little bit harder to get, but if you have Lord of Contagion from the Dark Vengeance box set, you can just convert him into Typhus. And then out of that box set, you have Typhus and you have Poxwalkers. Number one tip and number two tip to immediately make your army better. Tip number three is Nurglings. Nurglings are a great choice. They are cheap at 18 points a model. Please check out Winter's SEO video where he plays his Death Guard against Imperial Guard. He uses his Nurglings, just three of them, to tie up two Lehman Russes for an entire first turn of shooting. He basically puts them nine inches away from the Lehman Russes, he moves, then he charges. They have four wounds apiece, five plus Invul, five plus Disgustingly Resilient. They can do everything that a true choice can, can including tie up units for almost a whole game, depending on what the unit. And they're, for three of them, it's only like 50 points. Invest in some Nurglings. They're not that expensive. Get some, add them to your Death Guard army. They will improve it immediately. Tip number four, the Foded Blow Drone. I did a video on this, please check it out. This guy is a powerhouse. He runs all over the battlefield. He's got an automatic hit weapon, the two plague spitters. Please use the two plague spitters. Don't use anything else. Two plague spitters automatically hit 2d6 hits. He's hard to get rid of. He's got a five plus invul. He's got the five plus disgusting resilient plus his regular save. He blows up on a four plus. He demands a lot of attention from your opponent. So if you can get your hands on two or if you can get your hands on three in that fast attack category, I can't recommend him enough. He's all over the place. Tip number five, the Plague Burst Crawler. Right now, this model is probably the most point efficient model that you can buy in the Death Guard Codex. And I would say He's probably one of the most point efficient models that they have in the 40K universe as it is right now. They're at the Las Vegas Open, there was a guy running nine of them in a list. I'm not sure, quite sure how he did in the end, but he was still running nine Plague Burst Crawlers because they were so point efficient. You can set them up to be tank hunters. You can set them up with the two Plague Spitters to run around the battlefield and flame everybody. They have multiple uses, multiple weapons and to fill that heavy support category, they're great. Bonus tip, the Dark Vengeance box. Most of you already have it, I know, but if you don't have it, I can't express enough how important it is to go out and get it. Then take the Space Marines that are in the box, trade them with somebody who wants them, and get their half of their Death Guard box, and then you have two sets of the Death Guard models. The Foded Blow Jones are great. The Lord of Contagion, convert him to Typhus. You'll have 40 Pox Walkers. You'll also have Plague Marines. You'll have the Plague Casters. It is a great start to your Death Guard army. So there you go, five tactics and tips to make your Death Guard army better. Please comment down below and tell me what some of the strategies you use with your Death Guard army. Like this video and please subscribe for more videos of the Plague Den. Until next time, this is Tony saying to win all your battles in life and on the battlefield.